Hey, how's it going, Alex? This is Felix from M1News.com. How's it going? Another day in paradise, man. Thanks for having me. No problem. Hey, Alex, you told me something about you that you were a Yankees prospect expert. Can you tell people about your expertise on that? Well, uh, just uh, basically long story short, I've always been a believer that the, in order for you to build a dynasty and build the uh, – the best possible team is to build through the farm system. I've seen countless times between the Yankees signing big time free agents that never, never comes through. And if you look at how the last few championship teams have been, the Astros, the Cubs, the Royals, they're all built within the farm system. And so I predicated myself off of knowing how good of a system we can do, how good of a system we can build. And after seeing when Cashman has finally gotten the, power to do what he had to do and actually sell when we needed to. Look what he did when trading Andrew Miller and Neraldis Chapman yeah. and Beltron. So Yeah, he can still do it too to because the uh, the Yankees have plenty of uh, closers still on their ball club and they can easily obtain more prospects. But what do you think about that move obtaining Sonny Gray and training Wake Caprillion? Since you're an uh, expert in prospects, what do you think about James Caprillion? I recently uploaded a video of him working out over there, I think in Arizona now, with the Oakland A's. What do you think his chances are in the major leagues? Well, you know, um, you know, pitchers are sketchy to me. Um, you know, I think he's got an unbelievable arm. I think he's extremely talented. But one of the reasons why we drafted him so high was because he was supposed to be major league ready. He went, yeah. he did four years through college. He graduated college, so he's basically already polished. And in the two years that we had him, he's already had two major injuries. Yeah. And my my biggest thing is that the best ability is availability. I don't care how talented you are, you got to be able to pitch. Exactly. So, you know, I, I hope, I really hope Caprillion does have a good career. I mean, I don't want to see anyone's career be tarnished by injury, but so far he gives me the feel of like somebody like Ben Sheets or Mark Fryer who's going to go out and give you a 16-strikeout kind of game and then go on the DL the next day. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's the feel I get for it. And you got to remember, you know, there's only a 25-man roster. You can only keep so many guys. So when the Sunny Gray deal was going down, I'll, my biggest concern was to not trade Esteban Florial. Yeah. His, his player comps are drawing similarities to um, a more athletic, faster version of Adam Jones. Yeah. He's going to be the future center fielder. He's the reason we were able to trade Blake Rutherford. And, you know, Judge isn't going anywhere. And I don't think Clint Frazier's going to go anywhere. I think he's going to be the future left fielder. So I think that's uh, – I'm okay with trading Caprillion at this time. But yeah. in a couple of years, maybe I'll be chalking my words on that. So, so um, Chance Adams, didn't the Yankees uh, sign him um, coming out of college or, or what? Yeah, he was. And he's uh, – he was more of a surprise than anybody else. Yeah. Um, we got the fifth round, and his first year, he blew all the way through rookie ball, got all the way up to double A, and had uh, had the best numbers ERA strikeout wise than any pitcher in the minors. He started off a little bit in double A. I actually saw him live in double A. Yeah, and he, he was his second year. He was uh, he overmatched everybody. Triple A had great numbers also, but there's more to it than just having the numbers. Exactly. Um, he needs so, to add I more think, pitches to his repertoire. Exactly. If he doesn't, he's going to be a reliever. And yeah. uh, if you haven't noticed, the Yankee bullpen is overloaded. There's too many, even in the minors. That's why, uh, you know, I don't, I really don't want to see Dave Robertson go because I think he's built for the uh, World Series title for this year. But, you know, we got guys like Jermon who can pitch really good in the bullpen. Yeah. Ben Heller, I'm a big fan of. So, you know, there's, there's only so many positions, there's only so many roster spots. So you got to, they can choose your battle. So, so in your opinion, you know, we were, who are the top five prospects on the Yankees currently? Top five. Um, well, Glaber Torres is an obvious number one. Um, and I'm I'm bigger personally. I'm bigger on uh, position players because I think they have a better chance of succeeding. Because one pitcher can throw one pitch and their whole career is a yeah. shot. But, um. Labor Torres is obvious number one, followed by Estevan Florial. Um, three, I got to go Justice Sheffield. Um, four, 
I gotta say Andahar followed by either Albert Abreu or Chance Adams. Yeah. So, um, looking at the Yankees roster, they're gonna start or trying to start Andahar third, Labor Torres at second. Do you think Labor Torres is gonna start the season at second, or are they gonna hold them in the minor leagues for a couple of weeks? Not only do I think they're going to hold him in the, in the minors for a few weeks, but I think they're going to hold Andahar, too. I think Tyler Wade and Ronald Torres are going to play second and third for the first two weeks. Yeah, that, that does sound like a good idea to me because um, mm-hmm. while Ronald Torres starting at third, that just sounds crazy. But I could see a, a Wade starting at second base. That's not bad. Yeah, but, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a tough total swallow coming from a Yankee fan, but if you, I think if you – if you ask Cashman, I think he would tell you that he's more concerned about the future than winning this 2018 title. I know that's crazy yeah. coming from a Yankee perspective, but, you know, do you want to win the title or do you want to win a dynasty? Yeah, I'm, I'm and, seeing it now, too, because really, realistically, the Yankees haven't done anything. They did a few yeah, moves. Exactly. The Stanton deal fell on his lap, and he shipped out Headley, et cetera. But I'm not seeing the Yankees doing anything. And like you said, I see that Cashman is holding on to his prospects and trying to give them a shot. Right. I think it's a good move, too. Um, I know you're a big fan of bringing in Darvish. Um, yeah. If he fell into our lap, then okay. Like, But I can, I can honestly name about 10, 20 other pitchers that are better than Darvish. And it wouldn't surprise me at all that if come next year, we but let's not forget how big this free agent market is. We're all saying we're going to get Manny Machado. but. Yeah. I mean, Clayton Kershaw is going to probably be available as well as Dallas Keuchel. So he might be the move. Exactly. Uh, but I think uh, Kershaw is like a lifetime Dodger at this point. I think the Dodgers are going to stick with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with you. But he is available. I mean, yeah. money does talk exactly. against the day. Let's say uh, a Matt Harvey bounces back. Do you think the Yankees, because they did like Matt Harvey in the past, do you think the Yankees go after him? Only if the price is right, and I don't think the price is going to yeah. be right for a guy like him. So he's under Scott Boris. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really bad. feel like you know, in a couple, a couple of years, he's going to be in the bullpen anyway. Yeah. Where I think he thought he would dominate. I think if he could be a lockdown closer, but I mean, you don't want to spend that much money for a guy who's very suspect at this point. Exactly, and you you would think after the Tommy John surgery that he'll like not get injured, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, no, I mean. Tommy John usually it's a pretty easy recovery, but it's time it's time consuming. And when you're a guy who's supposed to supposed to throw 100 miles an hour all the way through a game, I mean there's, there's a lot of stri- uh, strain you're going to put on yourself. So and we both saw um, uh, Nathan Ovaldi go through two Tommy John surgeries. So oh yeah, that, like exactly. Cutting our teeth, so. so listen, um, we all know spring training is on the way. The Yankees have invited a whole bunch of uh, prospects to the camp. Who do you think makes the opening day roster as, let's say, utility man or whatever? Well, um, hmm, that's a good point. I mean, well, Therese is ultimately the the middle infielder. He's yeah. the utility man. Um, I think Tyler Austin is going to make it as first baseman slash corner outfield kind of guy, um, especially since we traded away Garrett Cooper, who I actually thought I thought Garrett Cooper was better than Tyler Austin yeah. personally. But I think you're going to see Torres now. You're going to see them uh, use the excuse of he needs a little bit more seasoning, quote unquote, just because of the Tommy John surgery that he had. But it's all going to be an excuse just to keep him have more team control after the two week period. And I think the same thing's going to happen with Andahar as well. He's Andahar is going to be the one who's going to be uh, the most looked at. But with both of those guys going down initially, you're going to see Tyler Wade make the roster. You're going to see Ronald Torres make the roster, and you're probably going to see either um, Espinosa or uh, Jace Peterson make it as the backup for those first two weeks. Exactly, and as you bring up Cooper, what was that trade about? The Yankees shipped off a left-handed relief pitcher that came well, up in their box. Like that, and they, there were a few of them. You've seen it for the last few years. What they do is um, it's it's – Prior to um, having to set the 40-man roster where yeah. you're going to make all these guys available anyway, so it was one of those, you're going to lose some guys regardless. You might as well get some kind of value back. The same reason why, yeah. we, lost, uh, why we lost Ben Gamble. Same exact concept. Exactly. And uh, Kingley back a few years ago, if I'm correct, right? Uh, yeah, Kingley was lost that way, as well as yeah. uh, um, Jose Quintana. 
yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, Alex, um, I loved your expertise. I'm going to upload it on the official NYY News YouTube channel. Is there anything else you want to include before I close this out? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I'll, t I'll tell you what. Don't, I would say this. Don't expect too much from the Yankees unless Mike Moussakis at this point falls into our lap. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be running with the young guys, and hopefully it brings us to Title 28. So. Yeah, I hope so. But um, if they fail to do so, we have a bright future ahead of us because obviously our farm system is stacked. Absolutely. Exactly, Alex. Absolutely. I appreciate you coming on, and I'll holler at you next time. Awesome. Can't wait to do it again. Thanks right. for having me. No problem. Take it easy, buddy.